smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. Where's the money? I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. Where's the money? I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. Yo, 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 greetings family, what's going on, what is going on today? Mic check one, two, man, y'all y'all let me know in the chat if y'all can hear me good. Think I'm clear and good to go. Alright family, uh, thank y'all for tuning in today. Um, we're just going to be doing um, a q and A. I I know I've been getting a few questions here and there So I'm going to go through some of my messages And uh, some of my comments and answer a few questions It's easier for me to get to things that way uh, You know, not um not trying to avoid anybody, anything like that You know what I mean? Uh, I do have a lot of things that I have to, to maintain You know what I mean, family? But I do want to take the time out to answer a few of y'all questions if uh if i'm able to do so so before we get started you know um thank you for coming to the channel i talk a lot about mindset generational wealth making money online and uh business credit if there's anything uh that if that's the type of thing that you're interested in then you in the right place all right but i'm simply sharing my insight and plan c's i'm not the all be all and i'm not here to give any financial uh advice or fiduciary advice or anything of that nature all right so let's go and get in family you know uh let me see here somebody asked me um let me look at my let me look at my notes real quick somebody asked me is it illegal uh to operate a business in another state or is it legal to operate a business in another state um now i mean plenty of plenty of businesses do operate in other states uh and for for different reasons some people do it for uh tax breaks anonymity different things like that but uh long story short usually when you're operating uh in another state uh, typically it's like a form you may have to fill out with the secretary of state uh um it's like a certificate of authority or some type of uh designation form that you're saying that your business is foreign and doing business uh in that state uh, you know what I mean? Because uh, when it comes down to that stuff, it's mainly about taxes and you doing business uh, in that area and so on and so forth. But it's not it's not illegal to um, operate in a, another state. But, you know, you are supposed to uh, uh, fill out that form for the secretary of state. And I think that the terminology varies uh, between. Uh, between the two. Let me see here. I'm trying to get my chat to show up. Let me see something real quick, family. Anyway, um, so that's that. Let me see real quick. I have B and C business credit. Now I'm getting offers. Should I try to apply even if my personal credit isn't that great? B and C uh, business credit rating. I have B and C business credit. Now, you know what? I'm not even tracking on what... Uh, bnc business credit is you don't have to enlighten me on what that is is that uh, a particular card that you have or is that a uh a, 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 that might be a vendor or something i don't know about um i don't know if you meant dnb by any meant by by any chance instead of bnc uh but that's i'm gonna be honest i'm not even familiar with with that right there so that's gonna depend on a particular um that's going to depend on the, on a particular, I, I don't know. So I have to get more insight and clarity before I can answer that question. Hold on real quick. Let me see if I get my, um, 
my chat pulled up real quick. Oh, Equifax and Dunn's credit rating. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. Well, it just depends on what particular card that you're trying to get and if your business is making money already uh, because uh, you, you can uh, attain business credit without using your personal credit, but you're going to normally have something to leverage. So um, if you, if you, you know, you get, you making money, then, then yeah, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Give me a second right here. One second, family. Try to have this set up already. Ah, oh, whatever, man. You know, it always like that. Oh, there we go. Boom, there we go, there we go. Let me jump over here to my Instagram real quick, family. Um, that's where a lot of people be me. If y'all wanna um follow me at Too Smart to Be Broke on Instagram and just shoot me a DM and I get to it uh when I'm available. Alright. Um, so a brother asked me da 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 a business telephone numbers. Is it set in stone that we need 1-800 numbers and do we need fax numbers? Uh, you don't you don't need a 1-800 number uh, when doing a business and building your business credit. However, you do need uh, some type of business phone. If you want to go with a local phone number, that's fine. And um, you can actually do both if you wanted to do that, you know, to look more legitimate. But having a local number works just as fine. And uh, having a fax number does help out and look good as well. That's what I was talking about yesterday with uh places like freedom voice and there's so many other ones where you can actually uh have a phone number and use that number or another number for a fax as well so fax definitely look looks good i know it seems like it may be outdated but a lot of legit businesses have fax numbers so they may ask for that as well Can you tell more about a uh, manufacturer spending? That's not really my lane. You know what I'm saying, fame. Um, thank you. As far as payroll services, um, at at this partic particular time, I mean, I don't really. I'm kind of like a one man uh show. You know what I mean? So I would suggest, man, it, it, there is a. a there's a good one. I'm gonna have to get back to you. That there's a good one. I was just topping topping it up with my uh one of my mentors about. But I don't particularly uh I don't really have any um employees at this particular time under myself. So I can't even answer that question for you. But I'll get back to you on that one. I would say though, you know, depending on your, your specific situation, to holler at your uh CPA. You know, and QuickBooks is a uh, is a is a good platform to keep everything you know everything in line. And when it comes to all your finances and profit and loss and and things like that, you know what I'm saying. So uh, just check check with QuickBooks. I do have QuickBooks, <clears throat> and that's a good one to learn as well. Let me see. Da 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 da. Man, it's a long these long messages here. And somebody's asking me, um, do I need a uh do they need a LLC uh to get like a business bank account and, and, and so on and so forth? Well I think I, t I talked about that before. Um when it comes to doing business, particularly, it's going to be how about, like, how you want to maneuver when it comes to doing business. Um, I don't really talk about doing a sole proprietor as often. However, 
Um, some people that just ready to they just ready to start their business that may not may not have a lot of funds. Uh, you can act as a sole proprietor just by going to get uh, a DBA or assume name certificate, and you'll be acting as the individual, your individual, uh, you know, with your social security number. But you can get a DBA or uh, or assume name certificate and doing business as number, getting the EIN, open up a business bank account, and you can build up a business credit profile that way. In my opinion, it won't be as strong because you're not navigating in the matrix as the uh, the true person that they deem over here. You kind of just be. Um, operating from the individual standpoint just from a different a name standpoint what are your thoughts on shelf companies uh, I say you know what to, to be honest with you when it comes to shelf companies I say that uh it could be a powerful tool it's just that if you if you looking into um, getting a shelf company, you want to make sure that you're doing your due diligence with that company and checking the financials and making sure everything is on the up and up. You know, um, it can put you in a position to get a jump, jump start you in business, uh, give you a business that already has some history and, you know, maybe even already have a business credit profile. That way you'll be steps ahead of the game. Uh, there's plenty of people out here that are, um, you know, that, that just go out and get corporations and you know they age them and put them on the shelf for several years and then the people will pay money for them if that business is set up credible and everything is legit uh so it all depends you know you have different places like i when i pulled up uh ink file yesterday i think it was a couple places you know like alabama mississippi uh, a few other places you can start a business for under a hundred dollars fifty dollars you know what i'm saying uh so if you start a business for that you know imagine you had you just had a thousand dollars and you say you know what i'm just gonna start 10 businesses and um you just put them on the shelf you know maybe you maybe you took the time to age them and set them up you know something um people will come because they don't you know uh growing a business from scratch can take some time you know it can take two or three years most of the time or it could take it take longer so shelf corporations can be a good tool i just say like with anything just be careful do your due diligence you know what i'm saying to know who you're dealing with uh, before you just up and pay for somebody's uh you know company or everything like that you know for sure for sure but i i, I think it's a great thing you know as i was saying you know what i mean um because when i first was getting started i was hearing some mixed reviews on some stuff like that but to be honest with you if you maneuver in the right capacity um you know you fix your personal credit you get lines of credit you buy buy a legitimate uh corporation because you know business mer business get mer merged and bought out all the time it's nothing it's no it's legal uh it happens all the time um you see it with a lot of these big corporations where businesses get bought out by another business and so on and so forth um so you can come in and do that and if you have a personal credit line of credit or some money or whatever and the business is already credible um that could that could jump start you you know what i'm saying so yeah they cool in my book Let's see, what else we got? Man, somebody, who is this? Me follow back, family. My bad for not getting back to y'all. Somebody sent me a, uh, said, I just recently created a coloring book to help kids learn about credit. Please go support this message came on on um let me see this message came on instagram if y'all if y'all are on here man y'all go check out asap home investments on instagram and uh uh check this out i'm gonna go i'm gonna go check that out i'm just not seeing this message so my bad uh for not getting back to you because that was that was a minute ago but i like credit is king kareem i like that where my camera at I like that. That's what one of the books look like. You can't really see my ring light all in the way. You know, it say credit is King Kareem, a, co a coloring and fun activity book. And the other one that says credit is Queen Charlene, a color, uh, a coloring and fun activity book. I like this. I like this. I might have to get this for my, like my little sister or something like that, man. Cause I think that's dope that you came out with a color book 
for credit so to put kids up on game i think that's dope that's my first time hearing some hear about something like that so shout out to asap home investments Push. Yep. I'm an old player, but I also want to start paying myself. I need a CPA too. Yeah, check out QuickBooks and then um get a CPA as well. <clears throat> They'll point you in the right direction. <clears throat> because uh, you know, as the first employee of your business, you know, you can um you can yeah, I'm not here to give you advice on that, but that's why I'm that's why I ain't saying much. But QuickBooks um and holler at a CPA. Because when you your first employee, you know, the power, the power to talk about that, the power of that or the insight to that is a lot of things you can do. Um, you can do from the business side out here. You can go get a a bit uh, a car in the business. You can buy a house in the business. You can get cell phones in the business. Uh, you can do a lot of things in the, in the business. Now, when you out here and uh, moving around in, in the matrix, right, a lot of a lot of people that you're going to be coming across, they may not be familiar with people that do business. Uh, so instead of asking for an EIN, they may be asking for a social security number and so on and so forth. And every now and then you run into a situation where it may be easier to qualify for something um, by using the the, uh, the traditional method, you know, using the W-2 and stuff, you know, so on and so forth. But if you have a business and you're your own employee, then you can um, provide your, you know, your pay stubs and your history and stuff like that. So it could be powerful, not as long as you're doing everything legit and moral um, from that standpoint. So, and QuickBooks ain't, it's not that expensive if you, you know, we want to check that out. And if y'all got some, y'all got some more questions. Like I said, you know what I'm saying. If if I can't give you some insight, I will. I'm just going through some of these messages. Some of them be really, really, really long, man. Like I ain't forgot about you. I'm just juggling a few different things. Let me see. Oh, that's why I need to go right here. Get funding just net 30 accounts with working your up the tiers or using PG is the only way. Uh, that's a good question, Fane. When it comes to um, yes and no. All right, look. When you're building business credit, okay, and then you got all of these uh you got all these 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 vendors and everything that you that you're working on. You can, right? So if you go out, build your business credit foundation, you build all these net 30 vendors, and like I talk about, you can go out and get a Sam's Club MasterCard and a Sam's Club um, uh, store card, as well as gas cards and, and so on and so forth. But to get those those unsecured, you know, other unsecured cards can be challenging if you're not making money, all right? So the bottom line is you need to be making money, and if you are getting net 30s, uh, and and you say you say you just have the funds to do so, cool. But make sure you get something for your business, and make some make sure it's gonna be something that you can make some money from. Cause in in all actuality, as a new business, if you don't have anything to leverage, any uh, personal credit, any collateral, any assets, uh, any cash flow, it's gonna be challenging for you to get uh, funding. But there are fintechs, financial technologies, um, that allow you to get funding um, without. Uh, you know without any with like no pg and so on and so forth but it boils down to making money in my it's straightforward in my opinion that's why i say yes and no you can build it and you can go get you sam's club mastercard and if as long as you're making money you can go get uh fintechs and, and stuff like that but you're gonna have to have something you got to be credible you know what i mean like if you go you just go ask you know somebody for a hundred thousand dollars you know, you know, they're going to want to see your credibility. They're going to want to see who am I lending this hundred thousand dollars to. So I don't want to steer you in the wrong direction when it comes to that. You know what I'm saying? So there's other avenues like I was just talking about uh, before somebody asked about chef corporation. So there's other avenues. But at the beginning, middle and end of the day. All right. If you are in business, you're going to be need to make some money. That's the bottom line, okay? I know uh, that's the that's the, the task to figure out, but playing this game about getting these vendors and stuff, it's, it's great to build a business credit profile. It's powerful, 
All right. It's powerful to go out here and get your quill, your U-lines and your Grangers. But don't go out here and over and ex extend yourself thinking that that's going to be the all be all. All right. You're going to have to be uh, juking that and making some money or having something else to leverage. A good person to create it, uh, so on and so forth. You know, what I mean, that's just from my personal experience. You know what I mean? So hopefully uh, that that answers your question. You know, I know it's like, yes and no. What does that mean? Well, you can, you know, but how much do you need is the question. You know, how much do you need? How much are you looking in, looking to get? What do you need it for? What you trying to do? But most definitely, you can. I don't want to make it seem like you can't. You can. But a lot of people make it seem, and I, I, I don't like to call stuff hard because I don't like having that, that concept in my mind. You know, I may say something may be challenging because it'd be new, but I don't want to create the subconscious programming of something to be hard. But uh, for people to just make it seem like it's, you know, it's not challenging. I don't want to mislead you on that. Somebody, so is this what somebody said as well? So is mandatory to use your personal credit as capital? No, it's not. It's not mandatory. It is not mandatory at all. Um, say, for instance, you're somebody who creates a, you know, say, say you say you understand the algorithm, right? Say you understand TikTok and YouTube and um you know, say you're somebody who's into health and fitness and you're funny or something and you have an audience. You build an audience by going live every day. You build an audience by going viral on TikTok and you can have a business set up and you can have uh, you can do consultations with people. Uh, you could uh, you can have your ebooks with people. Uh, you can have classes. Um, you can you can have different type of stuff. You know, you can be making money on your business from YouTube and other uh, streams of, of ads and stuff like that. And so when your overhead is low like that and and you still have money coming into your business bank account and uh, it's coming in on a consistent basis all right then you can get funding just from having that cash flow come hitting your business on a consistent basis now not everybody is that as that savvy and i don't want to make it seem like it's just that simple uh but you don't have to uh but the reason we we i talk about it because it's one thing that uh you know pretty much everybody over here that's legal has some type of number associated with them usually a social security number is associated with them and you know we can use that as a tool uh to maneuver now it's not the all it's not the all be all but it's just something you you have access to so it's not it's not mandatory it's just one of the things that you know you know a lot of people foreigners i mean they talk different there's different things i'm not gonna get into that but you know they try to get over here because they view those numbers um you know they view them in a different light you know what i'm saying as we do you know but i don't know social security i'm not even gonna get into that but uh now nah, you don't need you don't you don't it ain't mandatory it's just what most of us have access to A bit off subject, but I applied for the Chevron gas card and was denied. Allow, allowed to get the secured card with 500 down. So did this, and two weeks later, I was informed by Chevron that Dun & Bradstreet had not been sending them the actual reports. Therefore, my denial was an error, and I was approved for 5K. Okay. I mean, it goes on to say a little bit more, but Yolanda Bailey, that is um some good insight. So if you're out here you know say you are building your business credit and you know gas cards are a good way to um build business credit especially if you're doing something in fleet uh with any time that you're uh dealing with i know a lot of some of these people complain right about hey such and such they didn't they didn't report they didn't report they didn't report so i would say this all right monitor your business credit one um i use nav.com that you that that reports the Experian. uh uh, business experience, business Equifax, and business done the bad street, or you can go to each one of them directly to get a more in depth um, a description on what's reporting and monitor when you spend something. Make a spreadsheet about where you spent it and um, you know how much you spend, so on and so forth, the account numbers, all that stuff. And you just want to make sure that stuff lines up. And now if somebody doesn't report, what should you do? All right, me personally, I call the vendor. All right, I call the business or whatever. Say, hey, have you guys reported? What uh, what schedule do you report? Who do you report to? Okay, and if they don't know, you need to get me to a business uh, another representative who knows. And um, most of the time, 
uh, they'll figure it out. All right. So you want to make sure that your your business credit profile is set up to the point where you don't have multiple addresses and multiple businesses lingering and, and down the Brad Street and all that stuff. And you want to make sure that when you reach out to them, that, that they report. And, you you know, if you had to press them about it, press them about it. You know, call them. You know what I'm saying? Um, um That's what I did. I, I never really had a big issue with that because I will present somebody my EIN. I will present uh, my business EIN. I will pre uh, present the Dun & Bradstreet number as well. And sometimes um they want to prove you. They won't, they, they won't say nothing. And they say, well, oh, wait a minute. Have you checked my Dunn's profile? Here's my Dunn and Bradstreet number. You give it to them. And it's oh, OK. Um, so sometimes you do do have to uh, stand on your square and know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? And 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 uh, when you do that, a lot of times you you're more likely to get approval. I've even called people back after a denial and um, got approved just from providing my Dunn and Bradstreet and so on and so forth. And just to ask them, hey, who are you pulling? I asked the worst you're going to tell me is nothing or you don't know or something like that. So that's a great insight, Yonder. Let's see. Da da da. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks. Now I know how to get the car with no PG ball walking into the store. Yep. So when you're dealing with uh, Sam's Club, um the store card and mastercard um uh, you you can't uh get an opg sam's club card uh last time i checked and let unless you walk in there and don't fill out the pg portion when you do it online or you try to do it online or something like that they're not going to allow you to um they're not allow, not going to allow you to do it uh without that pg without that signature and that personal guarantee so uh, I went into the store. They left it. I left it blank. And the uh, the representatives, they're not that savvy or they're not that aware of business. So they may ask for your social. They may tell you, well, you may not get approved. And I said, well, you know, I'm like, lady, well, if you just pull in my business, get an inquiry on my business, it's not going to hurt nothing anyway. So I just like, you know, that's fine. I don't get approved. That's fine. You know, just run it anyway. OK, so if they start asking too many personal questions, just, you know, stand on your square. Uh, it's not that many places that you're able to do that. But last time I checked, that was one, you know, and uh, I was trying to. Oh, man, I went through it. Um, Oh, I went to Sam's Club because I was I was working diligently to get a Walmart because Walmart has uh, credit. I think they have business credit. Now, it's some stuff you can maneuver. I think they have a nonprofit type of commercial account or something like that. Uh, but I was trying to get some credit with them. And uh, they sent me through some hoops and loops. Uh, the managers was telling me one thing, but Synchrony Bank was telling me another thing. So I, fa I faxed it. I was doing all type of stuff, man. But, you know, uh, sometime, you know, it is what it is. You got to you just got to talk to and walk into the store. But it's not it's not that many places where you can leave that no, a no PG blank because a lot of people ain't having that, to be honest. But it's a lot of fintechs that allow you to do it nowadays. So. Greetings. I'm just speaking. I'm listening and learning. Great info. Carry on. Thank you very much. Thank y'all for uh, tapping in. Yeah, I'm just doing a live Q&A. You know what I mean? Just sharing my insight on some things, on some questions that I may have some insight on. You know, I'm not guaranteeing that I do, but I might. And uh, just going through some of these questions and uh, uh, that I haven't been able to get to individually. I figured, you know, I need to get back to doing some lives so I can build with y'all and talk with y'all because it's easier and the information may help more than one person at the same time. But as far as right now, yeah, as far as right now, I think this might be uh Yeah, that's gonna be it for right now as far as what I'm seeing in here. So if y'all if y'all wanna chop it about something we can. I just um like I say, great info about the four one one listing. Yep, make sure you list your business on four one one. I know that seemed prehistoric, but you y'all need to do that too. And and just let y'all know, man, that uh the money scene is changing. You know, we talk about where's the money credit is still important. Uh, but the way this crypto and this digital money uh, is rocking and rolling, you know, I just bring it up and mention it just because 
you know i want everybody to get acclimated to it and get very familiar with it everybody's familiar with bitcoin uh which is fine i miss mean, like the top it's the top dog it's the most popular it's the popular girl in school uh but you can um you can check out ethereum which is number two it's gonna be a lot of things that's gonna be uh based on ethereum based on the application of being able to program but it's gonna be a lot of uh DeFi finances decentralized finances popping up too uh that just isn't gonna allow for the decentralized uh, you know the banks and t take the middleman out more or less and allow us to stay private and you know um, Get back to that peer-to-peer -peer, uh, type of stuff. You know, what I mean, so I I would highly suggest going to coinmarketcap.com, you know, do some research on some DeFi uh, cryptocurrencies um, Check out yearn finance, you know people talking about the gains on Bitcoin, but check out yearn finance now uh, that thing started out around 750 800 900 dollars and you know it's up over uh probably around the same thing as bitcoin right now and you could have got into that uh last year you know for under a thousand dollars and held that for a year and be at 50 grand you know almost so um it's things like that always popping up all you know over the place but uh if you're not paying attention to you know the yahoo finance section or bloomberg or uh just you know staying active on what's going on you might get lost so i don't want to overwhelm anybody but just just saying i got crypto.com i have a visa card you can get a visa card for free from crypto.com and that way say for instance if you have some bitcoin um you know you know how you can uh for for layman terms or to keep it simple rather i mean uh you can buy bitcoin on cash app and you know you can sell it and convert it back to cash app well is similar but crypto.com allows me to have bitcoin ethereum or whatever uh major cryptocurrencies and uh i think i can transfer bitcoin ethereum packs it's a few of them i could transfer that right into fiat on my visa so if i got you know two or three bitcoins or you know i got two or three hundred dollars i could just transfer that and pay my bills or go out to eat that way so that way you can have you can still be on both sides all right and if you're new to cryptocurrencies and you're uh you don't like the volatility of the money because you wanted to stay steady they do have stable coins uh such as uh like usdc and usdt tether and they're tied to uh the fiat reserve so they're going to stay at a dollar even all right so when you get savvy all right and you start realizing how money moves you'll you'll buy bitcoin while it's uh low it'll shoot up you can take it out put it in a stable coin and you can keep repeating that process all right I, but there, there's a lot of ways that i'm learning that you can really flip uh crypto and money as well but i definitely have to touch on that in this space so just want to drop that for y'all and it's a it's a link in the description if you i uh, think if you want to get the crypto.com app on your phone as well as if you want to get more insight on business credit why i show you step by step uh the places that do allow you to get no pg uh business funding as well as some insight on how to uh, restore your personal credit that's in the course as well so you know if y'all want to check that out y'all don't have to you know just saying good job son hey mama <laughs> my mama on the line you know what i'm saying thank you for coming in uh curious how many business do you have uh i currently have three businesses right now but you know i do mo my multi-faceted man multi-faceted for sure and i'm not no guru i always say that you know i'm just a brother like y'all man um just started out on this journey uh you know wanting to acquire freedom and realize generational wealth and starting a business and you know building for my last name not just my first name is the direction i wanted to head in so uh, i just stepped into this lane and you know what i'm saying i've been helping people you know so that's why i'm here but yeah family while y'all got me on the line you know what i'm saying we could we could run it or y'all give me some topics uh that maybe i can go back and actually do a, a detailed video about you know whatever how y'all doing you know what kind of businesses uh do y'all have going on so this is why we need to be jumping on clubhouse man i want to talk and build with y'all and then uh and and really just show love to uh different businesses you know what i mean like we should do business with one another uh promote one another y'all websites if y'all got good products and services 
uh, for sure, you know. Um, so probably starting either this, well, I'm kind of tied up this weekend, but for sure by next week, you know, I'm going to start bringing um, people on. You know, it may be a, like a 20-minute, 30-minute uh, call, but just to talk about y'all business, y'all ventures, y'all, you know, trials, tribulations, learning lessons. And, um, you know, if somebody want to come support y'all, we can do that. Um, cause I think that's important. You know what I mean? More or less than just me giving insight is just, you know, us actually connecting with one another. You dig? So that's it, man. Just want to do a Q and a, you know what I mean? I give, I give you about 15 more minutes, man, of my, uh, of my time before I tap out, <laughs> you know? But we living in some wild, we living in some wild times, y'all. But the, the the thing is, um, you know, there's so many ways and avenues to make money from the house. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, I, d d depending on wherever you stand with everything going on, it's a lot of opportunity out here. So, don't let it pass you by. You know, you know what I mean? Don't let it pass you by. You know, these these youngsters, they know what's up. You know, they want to be on TikTok and they want to be on YouTube. But that ain't all a bad thing. Uh, not at all, you know. For for those for those of you all who were getting who are getting into stocks and and trading and cryptocurrencies and all that, I think that's great. Uh, but I'm gonna continue to say that if you're doing what everybody else is doing, just because you see them doing it, be very careful. Um, you know, um, what goes up must come down. That's how it goes in in a lot a lot with the stock world. Because I be looking at GameStop and I I I just keep looking like man, I know somebody lost lost probably everything they had you know what i mean um not realizing how to how the market moves so if you are inter interested in trading uh i highly suggest going to babypips.com and just reading through everything you know it's really uh it's really a great education especially for free and a lot of things that uh, you may pay people for uh and we dealing with you know not even talk about nobody but in, in a lot of them programs you pay for a lot of the information is on baby pips you know dot com i will say sometimes having a mentor or somebody helping you to do something uh can give you great insight and you able to ask questions and it may click a little differently um but you know just wanted to share that with you all let me scroll back up But yeah, so as always, look, man, if you're looking to start your business, um, stay straight up and down. Uh, personal credit, I have learned, is very important on the journey. And um, building a business credit profile is very important um, on the journey a as well. And those two hand in hand are powerful. Uh, you know, uh, as somebody had mentioned earlier uh, about being able to get business credit without Pete without PGN, which is personally guaranteeing, then uh, it is possible, but it's not how it used to be. However, things are changing. So I always just, I'm just a plant this seed with you all. Make some money. Make some money. SBA.gov, write out a business plan and just make some money. Um, will you share again some vendors to reach out to when starting a business? Uh, for sure. Uh, for sure. So a lot of, uh, this is some, some common ones. Um, and, uh, some common ones are going to be starting with Quill, uh, Uline, uh, Granger, uh, Supply Works, um, Suma Office Supply, uh, Barnett is a Home Depot card as well. I think you can, um, interchange them, want the Supply Works or the Barnett card. Uh, there's a lot of Wex fuel fleet cards, calm data gas cards. Um, there's plat P L A T T. Um, you work your way up through all of those, uh, getting a, uh, office depot, uh, business account, um, getting a staples business advantage account, um, getting a Lowe's accounts receivable account, um, getting an Amazon net 55 account. Um, so those are just off the top of my head, some places that you can go to uh, that are uh, typically friendly. Um, I say when you get in those gas cards, uh, don't get too many. Don't get more than one from the same institution uh, within the same 30 or 60 days. Give it some time. Uh, allow them to populate. OK. Um, and, you know, 
there's more information uh, on nav.com for they, they share some uh, valuable information if you want everything laid out for you the links and all that stuff i got that in my business credit course and um yeah those are the ones on top of my head now i will say this um the net 30 account game it is a game uh however the profile when it get built you look credible you just need to match that with making money but i will say if you work your way up to getting a fuel card um and fuel and maintenance cards uh and you're driving doing you could be doing doordash or uber business or something like that or whatever but that can allow you to pay use that use that money to pay for your gas up front uh, or maintenance up front or something like that and then pay it off on the back end build your business credit profile that way and when you work your way up to getting that amazon net 55 account uh you know just take a look on amazon and see what you're able to order and see if you're able to order something in bulk and maybe utilize it for your business and actually make some money off of it so when you start getting to accounts like that and they give you a six thousand ten thousand dollar limit or something like that even when it comes to sam's club okay then you're then even though it's a net account or it's a maybe a store card revolving card now you you still have to you still can use that to make some money um you know uh so that's some insight on that best way to get inquiries off your credit report um i think that's in my course as well man that's in my course as well to get inquiries off your credit report because the the the, the main thing with that it depends on if you're do, you're dealing with uh doing that for just for the part of, of course for the personal credit but when you get into deleting inquiries uh for uh, for cards that you have already received that's tricky all right because you don't want to uh, alarm um the uh the the, the creditor uh, or the person uh, the, the the entity that you got the the, the credit line of credit or credit card from and they cancel out the account uh so you got to be very very careful uh usually it starts with um i say uh depending on why you're doing it but more or less you got to get into uh putting a freeze on things like sage stream and uh lexix nessus and um uh you know uh dealing with that's it's another one but dealing with the check systems and um when they lock that up all right uh then experian and them aren't able to go back and verify because that's that's what they do they go verify at those places uh to pull that information and if they can't uh validate it okay um then you know if you can't validate the information then it doesn't need to be on the report so hope hope that helps I, I would say just go research sage stream uh research Lex, lexus nexus uh re, research check systems and um you know figure out how uh figure out you know what they doing with your information over there oh my clubhouse name so i got one maybe i'll make another clubhouse but um as of right now this is the uh this is my clubhouse right here uh plant-based mellow all right so um if you all aren't familiar i do um talk a lot about uh being plant-based and uh you know plant-based foods and so on and so forth so that's one of my other uh lanes you know what i'm saying so i'm a uh, i'm a plant-based chef as well um so you know I don't talk about a lot a lot on this channel but you if you in tune or you interested in you know about that i'm i make a lot of uh entertaining uh uh you know posts and stuff like that on i'm more active on instagram than anything all right so but so that's why my name is plant-based mellow so you can find me on clubhouse as well with that all right so with that being said, family, I want to thank y'all for uh, for tapping in with me. You know what I mean? Look, man, y'all get out here, man, and uh, make some money. Let's start making this thing complicated, man. It's right there in front of our face. You know, you know, um, y'all stay in good spirits, man. Y'all, uh, you know, keep God first or, or, or whatever you in, in tune with. You feel what I'm saying? And, um, you know, there's always, if there's a problem, there's always a solution. You know, that's just, that's just law. It's just, that's the law out here okay so be solution oriented um you know if y'all want me it's some it's some questions that was asked on here i'm gonna come back with some information for y'all and put together some uh presentations so we can walk through some stuff together uh but i want to thank y'all 
And until next time, family, y'all too smart to be broke. You know, um, once again, if y'all interested in the business credit course, it's in the link in the description. And uh, crypto.com is going to be in the link in the description as well. I'll see y'all soon. Peace. I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. Where's the money? I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke. Where's the money? Too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke.